Hey guys, welcome back to the video Automation Anywhere Enterprise Knowledge, which is a native RAG. If you're not aware of RAG, RAG is Retrieval Augmented Generation. I'll give you a link. You can read about it. So this is a service offering from Automation Anywhere uh, that is easy to use in your business with enhanced information retrieval and accurate responses. We are going to talk about knowledge base feature that lets you add multiple documents, the data source for your chatbot or your AI agent. In our last uh, video of on the series of AI agent of automation anywhere, we covered building agents and next in the list is knowledge base. What you see here is AI agent is nothing but your project, right? If I go back here in the dashboard section, you can create project and then all that settings that you see in the next page after opening your project are applicable on your project level. So AI agent is nothing but a name given to a project. It can be any name. Knowledge base is the centralized repository where you can upload, store and search through information from files and links. The knowledge base supports fetching information from web crawlers, Google Drive, SharePoint, Confluence, or even directly through databases. We have these connectors available over here and directly from URL and files, including PDF files, MP4, doc, HTML, JSON, CSV. Now we will see the way how you can upload your documents to knowledge base. So there are multiple ways. There are direct uploads. You can directly drag and drop your documents, your PDF files, docx, CSVs, right? You can directly drag here and they all will be listed over here. Let me drag and drop few documents. Let's add it through this button, add resource, and then drag and drop over here. Add file. So this is the direct upload option. You can also create a folder and place all those document, categorize the them uh, by creating folders as per your choice then we have an option of third party connectors which i was showing you you can go to project settings and at the setting level you can enable google drive sharepoint confluence page or any database we have web crawlers i can access it from here but if you can go to go back you can also access it from here crawl website here you can create a Crawler. With web crawler, you can gather information from a website automatically by providing website domain URL. For example, let me go to rpafeed.com and then what we will do, we are interested in one of the blog and we want that blog to act as a knowledge repository or a knowledge base. So let me go here. I have a blog. What is robotic process automation? So I'll include this in the seed URL and name I'll say KB crawl. And here I'll restrict max crawl option. So you can set the number of pages that you want your crawler to analyze. For now, I'll say only two, just, just so that it takes less time. You can play around with the settings if you are interested in only specific section of your website. So the crawl is in progress. It will try to hit that URL and try fetch in all the information and then it will list here the number of URLs crawl and then word count. Other than that, we have an option to create documents. Meanwhile, this is getting crawling the URL. I'll, I'll show you that option. I'll go back and here you have an option to create a document. These are the pre-existing documents that we have uploaded and we have specified some existing blog post URL through crawl website feature and then we can create a document as well. Once you hit the create document, you get a option to create a new document. For this example also, let me pick the, a few sections of this and I can paste it here and I can update this document RPA wiki or something like that and then I, I'll say sync document so as soon as we click sync now the document is available as part of our knowledge base let's now check the crawl 
results let me go here crawler it has finished crawling it took almost five minutes to crawl that url it crawled two urls as we specified that limit found around 5000 word count and you can view a detailed crawl report go back to your knowledge base and you'll see as part of the crawl result these are added from your crawl result if you don't want any of these uh, source to be referred you can just just select and right click and delete it knowledge base also provides a powerful search functionality so let's say if i go here and type rob robotic process automation and click on search it will search the entire source documents that we have uploaded and it will fetch the data and it will mark the score so the score for this is 0 0.8 and then you have option to filter based on your specific need you can filter it here and play around with the search results you must be wondering why this feature uh, is provided here it is provided to verify the data maybe you have uploaded the document and you want to just check before passing it to an agent or a chat bot you first want to check what are the results it is giving as per your search query now you can also fine tune your knowledge base how to do that you need to go to a setting and click on fine tuning option for this project once you click on fine tuning you have an option to add here you can add common questions or or drag and drop your refined documents or fine tuned documents here you can also edit existing documents or delete them altogether as i was showing you you can also add question and answer pair, pair to your knowledge base uh, once you click here add a question answer pair and you can specify the list of frequently asked questions and their expected answers or you can associate a file basically any of your already uploaded file along with those question set then you also can see the documents that you have added for example on the document which were created right rpa wiki we created this document so all those documents will be available over here you can either delete them or edit them and this is one uh, feature where you can maybe store data in a tabular format so you can uh, probably add multiple rows and uh, have your tabular data added here this is all about knowledge base we have added multiple source of documents then now how your ai agent will be referring to this knowledge base or your chatbot to refer to this knowledge base edit your agent and in the knowledge base you have to sele select include all knowledge resources so now this ai agent will look for all the documents that are available in the knowledge base so if i ask this what is a template in a360 so we remember we have keyed in that information right from the document and see it is giving me the result set from that doc by reading that document and in a citation it has already attached that document as a reference thank you so much for your time if you found this helpful please give it a like and share it with your friends thank you see you in the next video